Hi, today is Sunday, December the 3rd. Happy Sunday, y'all. Um, so today I am making some pecan candy here. And when I make mine, I use condensed milk. Um, and for each can of condensed milk, I'm going to use one stick of butter. One, a little over one cup. It's just a little bit more than a cup. Uh, a recipe I found said to use two, but it was just too sugary. So here I have three cans of condensed milk. And at first I used to always get Eagle brand. But Walmart has a Metal Gold, I think, and then Kroger brand is what I have here. I have three sticks of salted butter. And I have uh, four cups of sugar. So that's what I have here. And um, I thought I had some more pecans. All I have is 12 ounces of pecans. That's going to have to work because I'm not going back to the store. Because when I go, I end up picking up too much. So we're going to make what I have work. So actually, we're going to have... Usually when I make it, I have a lot of pecans. But this time, we're going to have more candy than pecans. And that's fine. So, um, but I'll come back as we progress. Now, what, we, what we've done here, all of the sugar and butter has actually dissolved. Because I had two cans and I start, I went ahead and did another one because most of this one I, I'm going to actually give away. But I just wanted to make some because I wanted to get some feedback because I may start selling it. I'm not sure yet. I just want to, you know, do some some trial first. So, um, I'm going to see how this works as opposed to the Eagle brand. And I know some people that make it and use the All brand and it's just as good. So, if, if that works, I may do it. So, I'll be back. Hi, these are the pecans I'm using. They're um, Bergeron pecans, and it's a 12-ounce bag, and I have them here, and uh, they're smaller, but one thing I found, I don't like to buy candy, and the pecans are raw. So take your pecans, put them in the oven on 350, and time it just for five minutes or under. You don't want them to cook too much, but you don't want them to taste raw in your candy. Okay? Okay, so um, it's been cooking now for a minute. See the color is changing and I had stepped away from it while I was checking on something and um see these little fragments of brown on it and that but it's still it's fine. It may do that sometimes. I just ordered me a copper pot off of QVC. We used that in uh, Indiana when we made some for the summer and we didn't have any of this. So I'll come back when I'm getting ready to put it in the pants. Okay y'all this is just about five minutes later. My stove goes up from Seven. Well, I guess that's well. Yeah, I think seven on this stove is high, and I have it on four. So I'm doing a continuous stir. But look how thick it's getting. And right before I get ready to make, um, I'm gonna do the patties. I think. But right before I get ready to do that, that's when I'll add my. Um, I have a mixture here of uh, vanilla and almond extract. I like the taste of the almond in mine. So, I have both. So, at this stage, because it's getting it's so much of it, and because it's, it's getting thicker, I am going to add my pecans. Remember, I did bake mine some. And I like to take them all with my hand, because I don't like to get that residue from the pecans that's always at the bottom. It doesn't seem to be that many of these pecans here, though. So that's why I don't like to just dump it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Not a big deal, but sometimes they use machines to pick it, and you'll have like little pieces of the stuff that be inside of the pecans. I, I can't stand to get that, but sometimes it's unavoidable. But I try my best to not subject to ever eat my candy to that. So, and this is what I mean a little extra stuff there. If you dump it, you're going to get all that in your pants. Just y'all saying, well, darn, you talking about continue to stir it? You ain't stirring. I'm going to get back started. All right, y'all. I probably should have had some more pecans, but uh, we're going to have to make this work because I wasn't going back out to the store. I spend too much money in the grocery store because every time I go to get one thing, I end up with a buggy. So, unless it's a dire need that I go to get something, I'm starting now. I ain't gonna wait to do. I'm gonna stay out of the grocery store. My pantry is stacked. My freezer and refrigerator is stacked. So I'm a grocery store shopaholic. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna look. Tie time. I'm gonna continue to stir. And no, it's not ready yet. 
I do have a candy thermometer here, but how I know it's ready when it starts sticking at the side, right at the rim where the candy, like as it starts sticking, like right here, when you scrape it, and it's right here beneath the candy surface, and you know it's at the temperature where it's going to be hard. Okay, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. It's just about ready. See how thick it's gotten, and it's um, it's even like showing where it's like look like it's balling up on the side. Let me see if I can show you. And you can continue to stir it, and it's still bubbling like that. And then it starts to me. It starts to even smell just. Okay, and then so here at this stage is where I'm going to add my extracts. See how it kind of candy on the side there? If you want to, you can do a little test piece. We'll place it in the pan and see what it does while I continue to stir. I haven't made this in a long time. very long time and I've never honestly made three batches at one time three cans at one time the max I've done is two excuse me I'm gonna continue to stir until this sits for a while I want to see what it does because I don't want if it doesn't harden it'll be a disaster <laughs> and trial through trial and error has actually happened to me before I made some before it never did get hard but this is what it looks like Again, if you're going to make this much, you need more than 12 ounces of pecans. That's all I had, and I wasn't going back to the store. So, um, so this amount, I think the recipe that I had found, I think it said maybe do four cups for just the one thing. But this is going to be candy with pecans. <laughs> it's going to be pecan candy because it's more candy than pecans. Okay, I think I'm seeing where it's ready because as I stir it, I can see like holes forming in a not quite in all of it but this here be this will be ready in a little bit let me continue to stir you don't want to sit and watch that but i'll be back okay y'all look how thick it is now another way you can tell it's ready okay i know it's ready now i'm going to add the extracts and watch how it does see how it balls in there this candy is done this is ready I don't know why my thermometer, I'm trying it just to see that thing doesn't work. I bought it from Amazon years ago. Maybe I've had it too long, but um, it ain't doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so. I'm going to start adding it to my pan over here. And um, let me see if I can show you. Hold on. Okay, so I have put some butter on the spoon I'm gonna be plating this with and I don't even know what yeah, I do. Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna do patties of it. And that's probably too they probably that's probably too big. But see it's just about formed already. It's really easy just to put it all in a uh, pan and cut it. See how it's already forming. And I gotta make sure, like I haven't stirred and it's kind of sticking at that bottom. I should I hadn't turned the fire off. That's why I was Wow, I thought I had turned the fire off. So this is what they look like. I'll come back and show you one. Here is the first pan, and what I found when you have fewer pecans, it spreads faster, so make sure you use a smaller spoon. I ended up with um, I ended up with like 26 patties, where my daughter said that when she does it, one batch makes 13. So I'm a little short because like these, really, if you would be selling it, that 
the, these are too big. These on the end are fine. Those are fine, but the rest of these are too big. Okay, so happy holidays. This is just something that you can make as a treat to give. If you have family out of town, you can ship these. Easy recipe. When you use the condensed milk, it doesn't take long at all. Just make sure you have a pot that the it, it doesn't stick. So a very good pot to make it is the copper pot. And I have one I ordered today from Amazon. I get it on the 11th. And so sometime that week, I'll make some more and show you how much easy it is to make it with them. So I'm just doing things that can help people. You're limited on your funds. You can get these cans of condensed milk. The sugar sometimes 99 cents. The butter on sale or whatever. Brand does not have to be a specific brand because this works. I've tried it with all kinds. So enjoy your day. Happy holidays. Happy Sunday. Make someone smile today. Goodbye.